If it's another boy, I'm like, oh my gosh, how am I going to love another boy how I love my shy? Yeah. You know, it's, but maybe a little girl will be different. But. I think we just, we wouldn't know till we're there and uh, we're definitely looking forward to more. Um, I think, you know, I come from a sibling family, you know, Peter has a sibling and we sort of now realize that the, the, the huge value of that. And I'm also looking at this kid, I'm like, if he's the only one, he's going to be this over attended to you yeah. know, with the grandparents yeah. and the grandparents and us. Well, it looks like Shy is officially getting a sibling because Peter Murgatroyd and Maxim Shmirkovsky are expecting their second child. It's going really well. We're very excited. The Dancing with the Stars pro announced the news with immense joy. Quote, after two years of constant struggle and heartache, three miscarriages and a failed embryo transfer, we have a healthy bun in the oven. Uh, yeah, it, it's a great feeling. PETA calls the pregnancy a shock because she and Max conceived right before they were set to do another round of IVF. Success. It's done. It's done. Yee! Guys, I know there's no promises, but I think this is the most excited I've been in a very long time. It's a process they were candid about during PETA's first round. Yeah, I honestly, you know, you hear the horror stories about it, you know, mm -hmm. marriage is breaking up, all that stuff, you know, it's it's uh, pretty dramatic, but um, I, it hasn't gone there, but there's definitely, yeah, there's been some times where I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe I'm doing this, but honestly, we're good. Um, this a, is the path for us. I you was know? a skeptic to the openness of mm -hmm. it and how open do we want to be yeah. and now I realize that there is the reason why people do struggle with it is because it's such a taboo to talk yeah and uh, a lot of people need to understand that maybe you know it, it would bypass a lot of the drama if mm -hmm. you know that there's this option once you face the situation instead of sticking in it for too long sometimes you know you go straight to the solution and mm -hmm. uh, and this is what what I think Peter is trying to show but it feels good to share it. And it's not a like, oh, look at me, look at me. It's just like, finally, I can say something and not feel closed off and not feel bad about it and not feel alone. So it feels good. As for this miracle baby's due date, well, he or she is expected to be dancing their way into the world in June. I just want to be a good dad and a great husband. And, you know, and after that, it's whatever the life throws at us, right? So. Let's just be open and, um, and, and hug a loved one. Congrats to the soon-to-be parents of two.